I am pretty stoked. I got my first really solid lead through Upwork as a Tableau consultant. About a month ago, I created a, a profile on Upwork that talks about the specific projects that I've worked on over the past year and a half. To give you a little bit of context about who I am and, and where I am in my life right now, uh, I have an MBA, which I graduated with about a year and a half ago, and I'm also one of the co-founders of Silvertone Analytics, which is a data visualization consulting firm based out of Greensboro, North Carolina. We focus specifically on manufacturing, retail analytics, nonprofit, and also Tableau education. I'm still a relatively new entrepreneur. I, I hear that typically the first three to five years are pretty volatile, so I'm, I'm still weathering that right now. I'm having some extremely high months and unfortunately some pretty low months. And what I've realized I can do is I can bid on contracts when I'm having some downtime in my sales cycle on Upwork and I can start to bid on contracts all around the world. So this is a great way for me to level out my income so I'm not feast or famine. What was really interesting was that when I first created my profile, I bid on about 10 projects. Eight of them I got no response. Two I did get a response on and only one of them actually came through. But unfortunately, the team actually pulled out last minute. So I was the one who got accepted, but then they decided to go in a different direction and actually hire an in-house Tableau consultant or a, an in-house Tableau resource. So yeah, I spent a decent amount of time building out my Upwork profile and my first pass of it, I didn't get any results. So I was pretty frustrated by that. So I, I really, I just moved on. I didn't think about my Upwork profile. I am, I have noticed that about once every two weeks I will get a request for a proposal. None of the jobs have actually matched up pretty well with my specific skill set. Up until yesterday, I got a request for a proposal that is perfectly aligned with what I've been doing for the past year and a half. And what he wants to do is build out some infrastructure around KPIs and sales analytics. That's what I've been doing for my manufacturing client for the past year and a half. And I've also taken that infrastructure and I have deconstructed it to build a class through my co-working space, HQ Greensboro. So is Upwork a waste of time? for those who want to get Tableau consulting clients. I really think this depends on your specific skill set. So one thing that I've noticed about these jobs as they are today is that they want those who have SQL skills. Unfortunately, I don't have SQL skills. The projects that I've worked on have been made based in Excel. So I did a my thesis for my MBA was for Haynes brand where we analyzed their email marketing campaigns. There was no SQL coding required in that. They just dumped us a huge CSV file of millions of email interactions that they've had with their client base. And in the manufacturing space that I have been consulting in, I'm hooking into these big box vendors um, databases and using the filters to just spit out Excel or CSV files. Upwork as it is now is kind of a tough fit for those who aren't on the more technical side of Tableau. I'm more on the consulting side. I, I have an MBA and I understand how businesses work across sales, operations, finance. I get kind of the business logic of it, but I'm not a strong coder or someone who has a huge amount of talent as far as designing really cool and striking dashboards. So there are a lot of people that are bidding on contracts and it's interesting to see that you know this this guy well he's only earned five hundred dollars but he's charging a hundred dollars an hour. Uh, this person is basically making a living although you know maybe they're just super ambitious and this is uh, one of the few revenue streams that they have. Um, so 
80 an hour, 65 an hour, 75 with 10K earned, 75 an hour with over 70,000 earned. Um, there are people that are making their living off of Upwork right now as Tableau consultants, which I think is pretty interesting. These people are definitely ahead of the curve. So the way that we've been prospecting for the past year and a half are these four ways right here. Which, through Silvertone Analytics, which is my consulting firm based out of Greensboro, North Carolina, I have partnered with two extremely well-connected people in the small business entrepreneurship ecosystem. Um, what we've been doing is just reaching out to people within their network. And that has actually led to some, some pretty good uh, business relationships for us. So inbound leads, so Ryan, our marketing guy, who is our one of our partners, he built us out a pretty good website, and we are ranking number one when you type in Tableau Greensboro. The third way we've been generating leads are through giving public talks on analytics. So we have pretty much been a regular at Venture Cafe, which is a nonprofit based out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Well. Venture Cafe is all around the world, but there is a Venture Cafe Winston-Salem. And we have given, I'd say, close to 10 talks on analytics. And just about every time that we've given a talk, we've gotten at least one good lead. If not, we met someone who could refer us to someone who would be interested in some data visualization. And finally, I would say place it, marketplaces like Upwork are a good way for you to get leads, but they're not the highest tier. I think that the highest tier for sure is just building networks. And I don't mean that go to a leads group and network in kind of a cheesy salesman way. Um, you need to go and actually build relationships, almost like how you would build a relationship with a significant other or a girlfriend. It takes time. You don't want to show up to a network event and say, here's my business card. I want to do business with you. You need to get plugged in and involved with the community. So here's my profile. Um, this is what got me that lead. And looking back on it, I think I did a decent job. There are a few areas that I think I could really improve. The tagline seems pretty solid to me, although I may want to add data-driven strategist instead of just strategist. That seems kind of vague. Um, this was basically copied and pasted from my LinkedIn profile. And the point of LinkedIn is a little bit different than the point of Upwork. LinkedIn is more of a social media site. Upwork, I should pivot this text to communicate the value that I bring and then qualify my expertise. So how long have I been working in the projects that I can bring a lot of value in? Um, I did that a little bit here, but again, this is very vague and just kind of touches on the high-level points. I'd say probably one of the strongest po points of my profile is this video that we put together for Code HQ, which is the Tableau course that I'm teaching through HQ Greensboro. Um, what this does, it does a number of things. It sets me up as an expert. The fact that this is a high-quality video shows that I'm not some fly-by-night operation that I'm trying to sell people a Tableau at the back of my sketchy van. Um, and then also proves that I do have some traction and I have done some work in this space. The $75 an hour rate, I feel like that's a little bit low for a Tableau certified consultant. Although I think anywhere between probably 60 to 150 is is pretty reasonable. Um, those who are charging on the higher end of that scale would probably bring in some more coding expertise. And here is my portfolio. So I, I included another video of me going over some basic Tableau concepts in a YouTube video. Here is a, pretty much it's a productized service offering that we've been offering through Silvertone Analytics. So this hooks directly into the Google Analytics API and changes the data around so that the users can actually use it to make decisions. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if you're familiar with Google Analytics, but it's not extremely user-friendly. You have to click and it's just kind of messy. Um, here is kind of our bread and butter that we've put together for Silvertone Analytics is um, a product line review analysis. So this hits a lot of major points in the retail space. 
And here is a sample work for the nonprofit impact analysis that we've done. So I feel pretty good about the portfolio I put together. So it, it touches on teaching um, the retail space and the nonprofit space, which are all um, areas that I feel pretty comfortable with. So what is my con conclusion? I think there is a broader context that needs to be discussed when talking about Upwork. And that context is something that is being called the gig economy. It's a growing trend in employment where employers are not looking to hire someone full time if they can get away with just hiring a consultant. They don't have to pay for the health care. They can cancel, I think, just about any time that they want, especially when these are project based. There's not that pressure to increase your upwork is the new emerging marketplace for the gig economy. And I'm not sure, I, I should do some a little bit more digging, but I believe that there are other sites like Upwork or they're going to have some competition popping up. I have seen some specific sites geared towards Tableau consultants. Like that's, it's like Upwork, but just for Tableau. And I think that data visualization is a little bit on the back end of that curve. I think that a lot of graphic design, coding, and marketing, it's much easier to get those jobs and on Upwork data analysis currently. is becoming more prevalent on these platforms. Um, something that I noticed that was really interesting, this isn't the first time that I've created a an Upwork profile. About two years ago, I logged onto the website while I was still interning in my MBA and created a profile. And I got all excited first and then I realized uh, crap, I'm competing against people all over the world and people in India who have 10 years of experience are charging $9 an hour. <clears throat> a big change that I've, I've seen here recently is that now there is an option for you to toggle US-based contractors only. And this is a game changer because now I'm not competing with people in Thailand who can just cut me as far as price. What I believe, the reason that I believe that this is happening is that when there is a language barrier, that $9 an hour all of a sudden starts to creep up because an interaction that I can have with you, we can have two conversations and I deliver you the product. When there's a language barrier, <clears throat> those two conversations might turn into three or four or five or six. So not only are you going to be paying this about the same amount, it's going to take you three to five times as much in terms of hours spent working on the project. So yeah, I think Upwork is coming along and I'm really curious to see how these marketplaces are going to continue to develop. 